Hi everybody, Mark at 911 Rapid Response and Vengeance Apparatus. And boy, we got such an awesome showcase vehicle today to show you. This is a new F550 that we built for the Pepperdine um, Fire uh, University in uh, Malibu, California. And what, what a fantastic customer. Great working relationship, even if they're in the West Coast. And we hope you enjoy the video. If you're ever out that way, make sure you stop in and, and take a look at it. Hi everybody, Mark here at Rapid Response, and today I'm standing on a brand new 2020 Ford F550 that I'm gonna go over with you. This is for our great friends out in Pepperdine University, which is in Malibu, California. So yes, this truck built here, going to California. So I'm gonna go over some of the things with you. First off, running boards. We have the Amp Series running boards, which automatically all go up and down since the truck's lifted. We have, uh, Super single lift kit on this truck. As you can see, fenderettes painted um, with a PPC coating from our great friends at PPC. Move around to the front here. We have a front uh, brush guard on it. Some wheeling M series. Some tracers here in the front, red whites. We got ourselves a winch in the front. Even went to the extent and put some uh, decals in the front here that says Super Duty so it stands out black. We have a Liberty 2 light bar on the roof. Some uh, Wheel and Pioneers up there in the front so we get some good, good lighting out the front as, as well. Move around to the side. We do have a discharge here in the front as well. And we're gonna go over the pump here in a second in the back. Graphics done in-house by Market Graphics. We have uh, the box here that was built right here at our facility, Vengeance Apparatus, extruded aluminum corners, cage style, cage style construction, extremely heavy duty, two by three box tubing, quarter inch walls. We have roll up doors, ROM roll up doors. We actually drove to Missouri to pick up these doors from Anvil, Pennsylvania here so we could uh, ensure that the doors were gonna come um, and not come damaged um, shipping right now is a little interesting so we wanted to assure that this truck was going to meet proper deadlines so we drove to uh, Missouri to pick them up. We have some packed tool mounting in for the customer. Uh, we have tracking on all the walls in, in the uh, compartment. Bottom compartment to sweep out compartment as well as you can see it's rolled right out to the outside. Custom rub rail, it's a heavy duty rub rail, it's not just for looks or fashion, it's actually if you bounce something off of it you're not going to hurt this. With cage style construction directly underneath the back side of it, giving you um, extremely heavy duty rub rail down the side of the truck. These are just bottle holes or fire extinguisher, whatever you might be able to put in those. Same way on this one. Another roll up compartment, LED lighting in the compartment. Another shelf. Same way back here. And then this compartment here actually has a, a uh, guillotine door, which is held up by a magnet, which uh, gives you access to the pump for any uh, just uh, pump servicing and things like that that the customer can get to. Move around to the back of the truck. We have pull-out steps that flip down from Zyco. They're, held, they're uh, held in with a ball detent so they don't come out while you're traveling down the road. On the back here, we have... Uh, little unique operation. This is one way that we can save some customers some money but get them other things as you see on this uh, on this truck. And this is actually a slide in skid tank. You would never think that because what we did is we took the skid tank, slid it in, and then we plumbed it and we actually put all our own push pulls in so it operates right like a rear mounted pump panel as if we would have built the own manifold. What this is doing is it's saving us a lot of time and a lot of money for the customer and labor versus building your own manifolds. You can also access this by opening up this door that we put in so you can get in there to work in the pump or whatever else, not that you have to. We have a booster line here in the back, electric cord reel. Somebody's going to ask how do we draft with this, so what we did is we brought our exit out here, made this fancy plate up, it says hot, don't touch it, it's exhaust. This is your flapper valve on the top. Change this to open, 
creates a draft, we flip it back up. And even standing here, it's not even that loud at all. Even at the exhaust just here, we have it pointed up. We do have a fan system built in it as well. So when you turn it on to start it, that's all the louder it is at an idle. It doesn't take much more than that. The fan system's just moving air across that pump so we know we don't ever have any problems because of the high heat where this thing is going to. And we just hold the shutdown to turn it off. Little pump panel there in the back. Little hose bed up top here. And this is made for a Stokes basket that they can put the Stokes basket in and flip this around. Integrated handles, handles up top, and then a place to throw some hose here. And this is a roll up cover. Custom rear mounted step with an integrated um, rear hitch that the customer can use for towing if, if need be. This rear compartment is just a little access compartment that we do. There's a little dead space until you hit the fuel tank and a, and a cross member. Uh, you can put whatever else that you think. You could put flares and whatever thing that you might need in here, an extra nozzle, something like that. No dead space is what we're going for. The spots up here, again, we're going for no dead space. We've trimmed this out in aluminum and then PPC coated it so it gives extra durability around these openings and it gives an accent look the whole way around. This is for your hard sleeves and things of that nature, pipe pulls, et cetera, that you might want to put in up top. The lighting is all wheeling that you see in the truck. We have Pioneer Plus surface mounts. We have M9s here in the back, other M series with the light array of brake tail turn and reverse in the back of the truck. I'm going to take you to the inside and show you some of the inside functions and then we're going to finish up. Okay, we're inside the Pepperdine truck now. We have a custom built console right here by our Just Box It company, which is in house. We built all our own consoles. They're actually made out of birch wood and then they're coated with a bed liner material. We don't take uh, particle board or nothing like that when we build our console. Everything that we use here at Vengeance Apparatus and Rapid Response is high end quality equipment. We do not go and cheap things out and um, just to save a dollar here or there. We want the customer to have the best product possible and that's what we're giving them. You can control the pump panel from up front. Now you cannot control water from here, but what this allows you to do is, is while you're driving down the road and you're getting close to the scene, you can pull your choke up, turn your pump on and save that extra time that all now you have to do is maybe pull your booster reel and pull your valve in the back and you're ready to go. Uh, trucks like this, we could also adapt with maybe ground sweeps. We could put an electric ground sweep actuator in if we need to. Um, every customer is different. This customer did not need one. Supply customer installed radios. We do have a switch button here, which is actually for the uh, uh, rear compartments in the back. We have the wheel and siren controller, which is going to go over all our scene lights, left scene, front scene, rear scene fog lights, Pioneer pole lights, preemptor, low power, and then our siren controls here. Our Freedom Xantrax controller, which also does uh, uh, charging to our batteries when the vehicle is plugged in through Shoreline. It supplies 110 through Shoreline, and then when you unplug the truck, drive it down the road, we still have 110 to those outlets that we have in the back of the, in the, back of the truck. Here we have a little extra feature which has a USB port and also has a voltage um, indicator right in the middle so the customer can always see how much voltage is in the truck and, uh, and a door jar light. Backup cameras by Roscoe. And that wraps it up. Um, we're excited to build this truck for our great friends out in Pepperdine University. Uh, they've been an absolute pleasure to work with. They were out here seeing our facility. Mark was out here seeing our facility and it's just absolutely uh, awesome that somebody travels this far to buy uh, apparatus from us. Um, so we are, we are excited to build this. We have other stuff going on throughout the uh, US and we're excited to bring those videos to you, show you what we're doing, show you new things that we're coming up with, partnering with customers, taking their requests, taking ours, putting it all together and you get end results that look right like this. Again, make sure you check us out on social media. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Give us a comment below. We love to hear feedback. We love to um, know other suggestions, like to see what you like to see, that type of thing. And um, we just uh, and, and really enjoy building, building apparatus like this. If you ever have any questions, give us a call, 717-473-3843, and have a fantastic day. Designing, fabricating, installing, building, tomorrow's
technology. Join the change with Vengeant Apparatus.